Good morning children. I am your social science teacher. Today I will be continuing with the chapter of mineral resources. See children in the previous topic we have studied about the distribution of minerals. Under the distribution of minerals it, I have told you that it is unevenly distributed throughout the world because rocks are of different types and structures the quantity of minerals found in different places also varies. So children here at some places minerals are found in abundance that is they are found in more and in some places they are found in very less small quantities and now let us learn how the minerals are distributed in different continents I have told you and in under that we have studied about iron and copper. Today let us study about bauxite children. See when I say bauxite, bauxite it is the ore of aluminium. It is the ore of aluminium and aluminium is the lightest metal. You all know children, aluminium it is also used in electrical wires and aluminium utensils, aluminium machines. So it is very lightest metal it is called as and due to its light weight, it is used to manufacture aircrafts, your aeroplanes, wings. Understand children? And it is also a good conductor of electricity. It is a good conductor of electricity children. And then the next is and it is used to make electrical cables. Used to make electrical cables children here. Yeah. So the next one is manganese. Manganese is used to make steel and other alloys. It is also used for making bleaching powder. Oh, what do we use bleaching powder children to wash our washrooms? And even sometimes this bleaching powder will be used to wash white clothes in laundries children. They use it in dry cleans. Okay. So, and it is also used for making bleaching powder, electric batteries. Electric batteries and then it is used in glass and tiles. Glass and tiles children. See, manganese is used to make bleaching powder, electric batteries, glass and tiles. So, the main manganese producing countries here are, see, I have told you, each mineral is found in different places in different countries. So, here, manganese is found in South Africa, China, Russia, Australia, Brazil, India and Mexico children. So, this is about manganese. The next one is about the gold. When I say gold, everybody likes gold to wear jewelries. Yes, and it is very precious metal it is called as. It is a precious metal children. And very costly also. It is precious and widely used to manufacture jewelries. It is used to make jewelry children here. It is found in limited quantities only and has many exclusive properties and it is used for foreign exchange. 
so only these days the gold price has gone very high children due to the exchange of foreign exchanges we are doing it so this gold mining is being done in china russia canada peru australia and south africa and these are the largest producers of gold in the world and even in our india in karnataka we had gold mine in kolar children we had so now these countries are producers of gold in the world more they produce there the next one is tin see children tin is used to coat other metals to prevent corrosion and it is also used to make alloys and it is used to make alloys such as bronze then it is also used in making cars and it is used for cans for preserving foods also understand so in cans we preserve food so it is used there also and major tin producing countries are peru indonesia thailand malaysia australia and belgium children so these are about the distribution of minerals children the first one i have told you in the previous class is iron ore iron copper and the next one is bauxite manganese gold and tin children so after this it is the distribution of minerals in india we are going to study children see these minerals which we have learned till now it is found all over the world so now we are going to study about the minerals which are found in india so this is distribution distribution of minerals india children so when i say distribution of minerals in india see children the plateau region of india is rich in large number of minerals i have told you in the beginning itself and here we are going to see where all it has been found just now we studied about iron copper bauxite manganese gold and tin children so in india where all these are found we are going to see in this table children see this is found iron is found in chatisgarh orissa jharkhand and then goa and karnataka chil goa and karnataka okay so the next one copper it is found in chatisgarh rajasthan madhya pradesh and jharkhand madhya pradesh and jharkhand children the next one is odisha maharashtra chatisgarh and rajasthan again so this is chatisgarh and jharkhand
manganese again it is found in Odisha, Madhya Pradesh, Jharkhand, Karnataka and Maharashtra. Understand children? Then gold is found in Karnataka and and Jharkhand. Almost all the minerals are found in Jharkhand children. And the last one is found only in Chhattisgarh. So children, once again I'll explain to you all. See, this is the distribution of minerals in India. Iron, it is found in Chhattisgarh, Orissa, Jharkhand, Goa and Karnataka. Copper, it is found in Chhattisgarh, Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh and Jharkhand. Bauxite, it is found in Odisha, Maharashtra, Chhattisgarh and Jharkhand. Manganese, it is found in Od Odisha, Madhya Pradesh, Jharkhand, Karnataka and Maharashtra. Gold is found in Karnataka and Jharkhand. Tin is found in Chhattisgarh. So this is about the distribution of minerals in India children. Did you all understand? The next last topic is about how to conserve these minerals. So it is conservation of conservation of minerals. How we have to preserve, how we have to conserve these minerals? See children, due to the increasing world population day by day and unending demands of people, the usage of mineral resources has drastically it has changed. You all know that. And increased over the past few years. It is going on increasing in the few years population. And now, if we do not control the usage of mineral resources, our future generations would be deprived of them and as they are exhaustible in nature. Resources are exhaustible in nature. The more we use, it will get exhausted and for the future generation you will not have it at all once they are exhausted they take thousands of years to regenerate children and hence they should be used judiciously and conserved by the following measures okay what are those measures see with the help of technology we should try to improve the techniques the first one is through the technology we have to use the techniques to conserve the minerals. The next one is metals such as iron, gold, silver and copper. Iron, gold, silver, copper. These are recycled if possible. It is recycled. We should use technish, techniques here. Okay. The next one is mines should be saved from collapsing. Mines should be saved from collapsing. And the last one is alternative energy resources should be used. Alternative energy resources should be So, this is about conservation of minerals children. So, now it is technology. With the technology, we have to use the techniques to conserve the minerals. And iron, gold, silver, copper can be recycled if possible. Mines should be saved from collapsing. 
alternative energy resources should be used. So this is about the conservation of minerals children. So today I have completed my chapter and at the end of the video class you have a question paper, uh, question and answers and a worksheet is being given. Please work out children. Thank you. Have a nice day.